Take a look at the ultimate here, ladies and gents. Pure fireworks. Bam. So, oh my goodness. Look at that ultimate. Holy cow. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Monster Chase Monster Review. Today, we've got Pure Panda, one of the best monsters in the game. I'll be doing a review, level 130, rank 3 review on this new mythic monster. So, you can obtain it from the Legends Pass for free, of course. And is it worth ranking it up? Of course, 100%. I'm going to show you guys why throughout this video so this will be a review on this new mythic monster so i hope you guys are excited if you are smash the like button also subscribe to the channel with notifications on anyways let's go ahead and get started all right so ladies and gentlemen we've got pure panda of rank 3 as you guys could see we've got hardened bulwark and stamina regen status caster already unlocked this is not my account huge thanks to sammy one of my subscribers for letting me borrow his uh, account to review this monster for you guys so huge thanks to him um so here's the thing guys uh i've already done my analysis but um if you haven't watched it I'll go ahead and quickly tell you guys about the stats. Just in conclusion, everything about his stats are really good. So strength, life, and speed, it's pretty good, okay? Trait-wise, it's amazing. It's fantastic. Try to get it to rank 5 if you can. So try to rank this monster as high as you can, basically. It's one of the best monsters in the game. All right, so take a look at this. One of the skills that he went with is pure implosion. It applies two random control effects to one enemy and then one to the rest of the enemies. So this right here, um, it is one of the skills that Ruby has. It's just a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, pure implosion, it's basically Ruby's skill. You know, Zarian's Ruby. Uh, you also have this other skill that's called You Have Too Much, which removes positive status effects from one enemy and then from all enemies. Kind of like Ross Yoko's skill. Uh, you also have Together, my friends, which removes all negative status effects from all allies and applies cooldown protection. This actually comes in handy, especially against monsters like Vitrix, since many players have their hands on it since it was for free, basically. So if you want to run this just because of the cooldown immunity and just to be safe so you can cleanse some stuff, go ahead and do so. You also got this other skill, which is called You're Free to Play. Removes all negative status effects from one ally, gives an extra turn to one ally. Basically, Madam Fusion's skill. So, um, what I've noticed is that uh, he has magic and nature element skills. So, you got two different element skills. So, then for the ultimate pure fireworks, you remove positive status effects from all enemies, disable trade on all enemies, apply a random control effect to all enemies, and remove 100% of stamina from all enemies, which is actually a pretty good ultimate, in my opinion. Uh, here are some other skills that you can go with Watch, Wait, and Learn. It deals moderate magic damage to all enemies. You activate cooldown on, on all enemies as well. So this is like a denier type of skill. If you want to run it, you can. Go ahead and do so. You also got pure control, which applies a random control effect to one enemy. Applies immune to control to all allies. Kind of like, what is that one monster? Uh, Chuckle Muckle skill, basically. Where you apply immune to control to all allies. It's just that you don't apply that random control effect. That's something that she doesn't have. If you want to go with that, same with the cooldown immunity part. Basically, uh, you're applying the cooldown immunity, which is which, which is something that she does. Uh, Helper of the weak, this removes... Um, sorry, it deals moderate magic damage to one enemy, applies torture immunity to all allies. This is also a great skill to go with. And then lastly, you have the portal traveler, which uh, deals moderate magic damage to one enemy, uh, blocks out 50% of the incoming damage. So it's basically damage protection to all allies. This is actually pretty underrated. Uh, so it is a zero cooldown. You do need stamina for it, but this is also a zero turn cooldown. So he's fine against cooldown activation, I see. Um, so basically all of his skills here that you see, they're all good. L really. L every single one of these skills that you have, they're all good. They're all useful. So you'll never be wrong about what you're going to run unless you're going to be running this monster either fully support then if you're going to be running it with full support right and then you have deniers of his skills then that's kind of that's like a different story uh or if you're running it as a denier and then you have like um full support skills now that's the thing what he's doing he does have triple support skill this one right here is like a denier type of skill so maybe uh swap pure implosion with like let me see him since um since Sammy was already running Pure Panda as a, a supporter, right? You might need another support skill in here. So you do have AoE Control and then AoE Torture. I kind of want to go with the damage section. I feel like this one's kind of underrated. I really like damage protection skills. So you can basically apply this whenever you want and the enemy can't really do much against it. Um, unless they end up cleansing it. But many players run Spectra. And Spectra can't pierce through damage section, by the way. So it's a good skill. It's, it comes in handy. Um, but anyways, with all of that being said, I think what I'll do 
Here's the thing, since I'm running the damage section, I kind of want to run this monster full speed. Even though I'm running it as a supporter, basically. Which I know doesn't make any sense, but it's because of the damage section skill that I'm running. So if I can take in the first turn, I can either end up removing positive status effects from the enemy. I can go with the damage section in case Spectra or any other attackers that are going in next. You know, I can apply that. And lastly, I can also do something like you're free to play and turn transfer over to my attacker or something. And also together, my friends, which applies cooldown protection. So basically, if the enemy has any CDA skills, I won't get hit by that. So you can run full speed on this monster or you can do full team speed. You can also do two speed, one team speed or two team speed, one speed. So there are many ways to ruin this mythic monster. For relics, here's what I recommend, guys. Go in with either Ural SN. Um... Also, Flame Mars Essen works best. You can also do Zyron's Essen, alright? Uh, if you want to go with Moonhaze's Essen, that's really up to you. For Staff, you can either do Cane of Atlantis, Master Staff, and that's about it. Master Staff or Cane of Atlantis, one of those two, alright? I think I'll do Master Staff. I like Master's better. Um, for the Relic here, you can do either Soul Drag, since this monster has an Essen slot, so it can come back after dying. If you want to go with Soul Drag, you can. You can do Pain Distiller, you can also do Mud Body, you can do Crystal Form, uh, Static Shock, I don't know if I already mentioned that, but yeah, you can do many, honestly. You can even do Banishing Touch if you want to. Well, actually, Banishing Touch, I feel like that's going to be a bit difficult to trigger, especially the fact that I'm running all these skills, and especially this one right here. Uh, so that's the problem with this monster, I think that's the only um, problem with this monster, because many of the talents, they won't even trigger due to his skills not dealing enough damage. Like, look at this one right here. It doesn't deal any damage. This one kind of does, right? Um, besides that, this one kind of helps out. And then lastly, the Portal Traveler. But then the rest of them fully support, so it's kind of hard for the talents to actually kick in. But you can go with something like Pain Slur and the other ones that I mentioned, where the enemy attacks you and then it triggers, you know what I mean? So you don't even have to damage them in order for it to trigger. Uh, but anyways guys, with all of that being said, it is a magic corrupted mythic monster and uh, let's go ahead and take it to battle now. So Sammy actually went ahead and already set up a team for me, so he should take some. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I actually like the team. I'll go ahead and go with it. So like Pure Panda works with almost every monster in the game, literally. It works with almost every monster. So you can literally pair it up with whoever you want and you'll be, um, you'll be set, okay? You got Crystal Form there, you also have the Spilling Fist I see with Static Shock there. Alright, so let's see what you're gonna do. Do your thing already. The Spilling Fist kicking in. Cool, cool, cool. Not cool. Alright, so now that it's my turn, here's the thing. I can either go with my Damage Protection, or I can go ahead and remove Positive Status Effects from one enemy, and then from all enemies right after. So take a look at this. I go ahead and get rid of the Mega Taunt, and then I also get rid of the Evasion and the Cooldown Protection that this monster had. So see, Evasion's gone, Mega Taunt's gone, and the Cooldown Protection there. As the stats caster was there. So all of that literally just... It disappeared. Uh, because of my monster of Pandav. So he is a huge helper there. Haunting Assault Kick then. It's okay that you got the extra turn there. Not really a huge problem honestly. Oh, I forgot there are two Antipaters. Solosar. Oh, my monster died. Guess what? I can come back. <laughs> so yeah, my monster ended up dying but it's okay. Because remember, I can always come back thanks to that um, SN that I'm running. So here, I think I'm going to go with my Anti-Cat Wall and apply that damage section plus the Megatons. And here, we can go ahead and, if I wanted to, I could have removed all negative status effect if there was anything on me, on my monsters. I could also do damage section. If I turn transfer, Antivision will trigger, okay? It will trigger, but you know what? That's completely fine because guess what? It's not like this monster is running uh, Unrouting Assault, and not just that, but also... I have my Megatons here. My Megaton monster is alive with the damage section. So I'll be fine. So look, I turn transfer over. I know there's an anticipation, but guess what? You go ahead and attack. Barely dealt any damage. Oh, actually I missed because uh, of the blind that I had there. So let me go ahead and hit you with... Uh, you know what? Let's just do this anyway. I doubt it'll even land. Oh, it did actually land. And I think you're dead, right? Crystal Form might kick in right here. Yep. Okay, you gained Skill Mirror. You got your ultimate. Oh my goodness. Pure Pan of Died. No. It's alright. We're just gonna hit you with the Tola. I should be able to win this easily. 
And just like that, we went ahead and won that battle. So yeah, once again, guys, literally every single one of your pan of skills uh, will come in handy. Like you can make some really nice plays with this mythic monster. So this is like literally the best free to play, uh, like battle pass, not battle pass, legends pass supporter, I'd say in my opinion, or denier, whatever you want to call it. Like you can run this monster either support, denier, you know, you do your thing. Anyways, so I do have Burning, but a Pain Distiller just helped me out. So here's what I can do. I can remove Positive Status Effect once again, and then that'll also get rid of the Damage Boost Status Guesser that's there, and also the Pierce in there. So look, you have too much, you go ahead and use it. You go ahead and remove Positive Status Effect from one, and the other two as well. So the Pierce is gone. Bye bye Pierce. I can go ahead and hit you with this. And basically, I can abuse my um, Arousing Assault right here now. So let's do it. I could do this. And okay. One shot, one kill. Monster died. Guess what? I can always come back. So pure PNF. Let's see what you can do here. Um, none of them have CDA skills. So that's a thing. Um, I could do turn transfer right here. Right away turn transfer over to my attacker and finish them off if I wanted to. But let's have some fun here. I'm going to apply the damage section. This is what I was talking about earlier. The damage section is actually pretty good with uh, against... Spectra and also Stock Killer. Okay? It's good against both of them. So take a look at this. Let me just eliminate you, Shelly, because you're going to be annoying. Alright? And go ahead and do your thing now. Firebolt. Oh, yeah, it actually killed them. But hey, if, if Pure Panda had more life, I would have survived that. Okay? I'm just saying. So, yeah, it's just that the Spectra is kind of powerful. And my uh, monster was actually pretty low on health. So that's why. Uh, but yeah, guys, like. Your Bandit is literally one of the best monsters right now. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this mythic. It's so good. I kind of want to run Soul Drag on you. Because you keep dying quite a lot. So let me give you Soul Drag. And then instead of you having that, I'm going to give you like Pain the Slur or something. Let's go with that. Alright, so let's go on and test out Soul Drag on Pure PNF instead. Alright? Yeah, let this goes. Alright, so... You have mud body there. Here's the thing. We can do the same exact thing. You have way too much. Just like that. We get rid of the evasion there. Although you are taking the turn right after. The next turn. So it didn't really matter honestly. But it's okay. Okay. So let's see what we could do here. Um, let me hit you with Tolo. Because I know Arnotting Assault will kick in. And you're going to take the turn in there. So let's see what you're going to do. Ooh, triple damage. Soul Drag kicked in. Did it take you down? No. You want to know why you didn't take him down? It, not just because of um, of it dealing 100,000 damage and it's dark against dark so it'd be weak. But because of the level 130. Now, let's say this Lord Nebatos was like level 100 or something. Or let's say it wasn't even Lord Nebatos. It was another monster besides Lord Nebatos that wasn't dark element. And um, that way I would have actually eliminated him. But unfortunately, it's just because of that. Because of the element disadvantage and also because of the level. Or else I would have um, taken him down with my soul drag there. Mud body kicked in. Ouch. Alright. Ooh. Triple damage again. That was not good. Man, that relic giving him triple damage. <laughs> uh, sucks. Just hate to see it. Alright, let's go up against this one. Alfredo, what are you going to do? Oh. Oh, oh, perfect. So even against something like this, look at this. You got damage section shield, uh, skill mirror, um, evasion, mega taunt, all these stuff, right? Take a look at this. You have too much. You're going to cleanse everything. Look at that. So it's so good. That skill right there is so good. It is just so good. I'm going to go ahead and hit you with the Mad Whispers. All right. So let's apply that blind to you. I'm surprised the blind keeps on landing. Alright. So you can do... Let's do hold your breath. Okay. Sewer Dominator. Unfortunately, Pure Panda, um, the thing is on cooldown. None of these monsters... None of these monsters uh, hit me with CDAs. Or can hit me with CDAs. So I don't have to do anything there. I'll just go and apply the intersection. How's that? I have Static Shock now, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter. 
Uh, you have skill mirror there, so let me go and attack you. Mounting assault kick then. Tell some damage. What do you have right now? You have revenge, sir. Oh my gosh, that relic. All right, let's just charge up. It's okay. Look at that. It barely dealt any damage thanks to that uh, damage section that I applied with Pure Panda. Now, we got our ultimate. So, basically, this removes positive status effects, stable traits, applies a random control effect, and removes 100% of stamina. Take a look at the ultimate here, ladies and gents. Pure Fireworks. Bam. So, oh my goodness. Look at that. Ultimate. Holy cow. We applied Time Stop, Mega Sun, and I don't know what it was on the tank, but... Holy cow. Look at that. Freeze. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're good. Let's go on an attack now. Let's just attack. Honestly, let's take the advantage and do whatever we want. So I can hit you with something like this, for example. And look, quite disabled. So you're not even going to get the turn in right after because of your um, trait. You know, you don't have your trait anymore thanks to the ultimate that I just used. Nepetal's armor kicked in. Alright, and I'm going to hit you with the Lord again. Revenge answer. Look, I can turn transfer again if I wanted to, so let's do it. And I can do Lord again. And you still have stun there because of my ultimate. Just keep dealing damage, honestly. Um, Here, what we can do, I guess we can just deal some damage and apply the damage section. And basically just continue spamming our attack here. Uh, Let me see what I can do. Uh, Okay, so the damage section, guys... The thing that I like about the damage section is that it's spammable. As long as you have the 26 stamina, you can continue spamming this over and over and over again. And um, even the stamina part, guys, don't really worry about it because remember, this mythic can actually hold a staff. So you can give it either King of Atlantis or Master Staff. You know what I mean? Those two staffs you can give them. Alright. Ooh, you have triple damage. Ah, that's kind of scary, but it didn't even land. Ha, how embarrassing. See? The staff just kicked in and give everybody stamina. So that's a really good um, relic to have there. It's going to continue dealing damage, honestly. There we go. We finish it off. Perfect one. So Pure Panda is, one, once again, one of the best monsters. And I highly recommend investing in this method, guys. Uh, use all your Ludums. Rank it up. And, you know, just rank up the monster in general. But once again, huge thanks to Sammy for letting me borrow his account uh, to review this monster for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about him and what you're going to do with him if you end up getting him. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's Monster Just Monster Review. If you did enjoy, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.